We have a news alert coming in at this hour. Parliament Speaker and former President of the Maldives, Mohamed Nasheed, was targeted in a terrorist attack near his residence on Thursday. His condition now is said to be critical. In its latest statement, the hospital authorities said that the former President Nasheed was in a critical condition after a series of surgeries. The private ADK hospital said that Nasheed was wounded in a bomb attack after which he went through life-saving surgery for injuries to his head, chest, abdomen and limbs. Now, this is the first major update given by the hospitals. The former president remains currently in a critical condition in intensive care. On Thursday, an explosive was set on a blue bike near Nasheed's residence in Mali, and he was outside with bodyguards on his way to his car when the explosive went off. Three of his bodyguards and a UK national also sustained injuries. According to reports, the Islamic State has taken responsibility for the attack on Nasheed. President Ibrahim Mohamed Soleh, who is a close ally of Nasheed, has said that an investigation into the explosion is underway. Soleh visited the hospital in Mali, where the country's former president, Mohamed Nasheed, was being treated for wounds. And in the aftermath of the attack, President Soleh is now holding an emergency special sitting with members of the National Security Council. The Foreign Minister, Abdullah Shahid, strongly condemned the attack on the Speaker of Parliament. He said in a tweet... Cowardly attacks like these have no place in our society. My thoughts and prayers are with President Nasheed and others injured in this attack, as well as their families. In its latest statement, the Maldives police has called the attack a deliberate act of terror. The police said that while the former president remains in hospital, all shrapnel has been removed. Deeply concerned about the attack, the Indian External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar said that Nasheed will never be intimidated. Nasheed became the Maldives' first democratically elected president in 2008 and he has remained an influential figure since leaving office in 2012. He is the president of the governing party and after returning from a period in exile has served as parliament speaker since 2019. The islands have been known in the past for political unrest as well as Islamist militant violence. If we can't stop, no, Manhattan is to give up. We are on principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibyl is now joining us live with the latest. Sidhan, now we are getting reports that Mohammed Nasheed is critical. What can you tell us about his current condition? Well, Priyanka, he remains critical. Uh, he had a number of surgeries. Uh, and the day after that dastardly terror attack in which uh, the attempt uh, was made on Nasheed, uh, the former president and the current speaker of the parliament, uh, there have been, of course, uh, picking up of pieces by the Maldivian authorities. There was, in fact, a press conference uh, late earlier today in which details were given. In fact, four people are right now uh, seen as person of interest in connection with what has happened in Maldives. Remember, uh, this is something that has shocked Maldives and uh, the region. Also remember uh, that uh, uh, the Australian Federal Police uh, officials will be coming to the country tomorrow morning, will be taking part in the larger investigation process. Already more than 400 Maldivian Police officers are on the job investigating the incident. The British experts, in fact, two British experts are helping the Maldivian authorities. And of course, the country is on a high alert. Remember, Nasheed is a well-known politician in Maldives. He, of course, uh, is uh, one of uh, the faces of Maldives internationally as well. Of course, uh, he was someone who championed the cause of climate change during his presidency, in fact, doing a cabinet meeting underwater, also known as friend of India. But of course, he has made a number of critical comments, uh, particularly on radicalization, on Islamic State, and of course, on China as well. Remember uh, that he has been very vocal about how China was responsible for putting Maldives right. into debt. So, of course, uh, uh, this attack is something that is uh, uh, being looked up at the highest level uh, in Maldives. We know that yesterday there was uh, a special sitting of the Maldivian parliament condemning the incident. Also, the Maldives president addressed the nation, gave out the details and had a meeting with the various security officials regarding the incident, which, of course, is now officially a terror incident, according to the Maldivian authorities. Right, Siddhant, you just mentioned that this terror attack has shocked the Maldives and the region at large. Now, the Islamic State has claimed responsibility for this terror attack, but such incidents are rare in the Maldives, which is a popular tourist destination, of course. So what can be said about the security concerned in the islands as of now? 
Well, as of now, it's only the local media that is reporting that Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the attack. Uh, there is no official word by the authorities. The, the authorities haven't said a word. Who is responsible for the attack? What was the intention of the terror attack? They are taking it as a, as a terror attack, uh, a deliberate terror attack on on the life of uh, uh, the former president of, uh, of, of Maldives and making sure that they get leads into what we, uh, we went into the planning because there was, uh, uh, according to reports, local report, another uh, bomb as well. In the entire incident, uh, four bodyguards of Nasheed were also injured. Uh, a tourist, a British tourist was also injured. Of course, they are now out of danger. Right now, the big focus is on Nasheed who has went, went through a number of surgeries. He is critical now. Uh, 16 hours of surgery is something that, of course, uh, is uh, mind-boggling and you now of course the entire world of course especially in the region there are a lot of concerns new delhi of course has uh, been taking a, a note of the development and uh, also making sure that it gets regular updates on what is happening on the ground in maldives but of course this is a development that has shocked the region right so then we leave it there and we'll continue to track this story thanks for joining us on this newscast beyond world is one is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news updates on the move